and I am the Program Quality Manager for Health Professions and Public Safety at Idaho Career and Technical Education. I did come into teaching from industry. I am an occupational specialized teacher. I have approximately 15 years. When I began my teaching career at the College of Western Idaho in the Medical Administration Department, I taught both business classes, medical administration, and medical assisting courses. Um, so I definitely understand what it's like to come directly from industry into the teaching arena. I am involved with both health professions and public safety for CTE throughout Idaho. Quite a few other program areas for the state of Idaho. We actually have a total of seven program managers. We have business and marketing, family and consumer sciences, health professions and public safety. We also have trades and industry, engineering and technology, and agriculture, as well as middle school. Cluster programs are an overview of a lot of different courses within a program area. Pathway programs, on the other hand, are a specific path to an industry certification. Cluster programs do not have a capstone course, where pathway programs are a sequential list of required courses that lead to that fundamental capstone course. In our area specifically, it can lead to uh, industry certifications, such as an EMT certification or nursing assistant and even a pharmacy tech. A new LOS teacher can teach any course within their program area. In health professions and public safety specifically, we only have pathway courses. We do not have clusters in our program area. So our teachers are specifically endorsed to teach the entire pathway. So that means they are endorsed and eligible to teach any class that is required in that pathway. So teacher preparation courses are uh, those teachers who come in who have gone through a program to learn how to be a teacher. So specifically business education or agricultural education. Those are teacher prep courses. In healthcare and public safety, we don't actually have a teacher prep course. All of our teachers come directly from industry because there is no teacher prep program that teaches you how to be a law enforcement teacher. You actually just have to be in law enforcement to learn how to teach that and to be eligible to be endorsed in the state of Idaho to teach that. So for teacher prep programs, like I said, business education, ag education, those teachers complete a four-year program in learning how to teach their students ag education. So they have an overview of a lot of different areas in their specified field of study. So they can teach both a cluster and a pathway because they're trained to do so. Uh, in our industry teacher certifications, it's a very specific skill set, law enforcement, certified nursing assistant. You have to have those skills in order to teach those students so they can be eligible to sit for whatever exams they may have. There's no preparation in a college program or a four-year program to learn that. It's all industry specified. The pathway documents can be found on our ICTE website simply by searching program areas or pathway sequence charts. Each of our program areas are listed separately and when you click on the specific program area it will take you directly to the sequence charts which will show you exactly which courses align to each pathway. For the health program areas, we have what's called IHPEA, Idaho Health Professional Educator Association, and for our public safety, law enforcement, firefighting, they can join the Idaho Trades Association as well. Um, and these associations are fantastic for our teachers because it gives them a voice. Um, we have the presidents of each of these associations that sit within our Career Technical Educators of Idaho Foundation, and they will be able to work on issues throughout the state of Idaho and also on a national level have the opportunity to learn from other states, have their voices and their concerns heard, and then share those opportunities and those learnings throughout the state. The Career Technical Student Organization for Health Professions Teachers is called HOSA, Future Health Professionals, and uh, the Career Technical Student Association for our Public Safety, our Law Enforcement and Fire Programs is Skills USA. Teachers' involvement in the related CTSOs, it, we want you to be the advisors for your students. 
These CTSOs help your students learn to develop leadership skills, practice practical industry specific skills throughout uh, learning opportunities, throughout state competitions, and then national and international competitions as well. So as a teacher, you automatically become the advisor for your student chapter, which helps learn about other chapters in the state, what your students can do to get involved on both the national and the state level. We have a lot of resources available. Um, just in our state specifically, we work together with programs in different areas, different regions. Our teachers can build a network of their specific pathway. We also, on the health side of things, we are a member state of the National Consortium of Health Science Educators. That gives us a seat at the table and the resources of the entire nation, what's working, best practices, lesson plans, shared Google Drives. Um, it's become more apparent that we need to shift and focus our energy on virtual realities, for example. Um, with this last year, many of the resources that we used in Idaho classrooms came from teachers from all around the state who tried new things and had the opportunity to share. So we have just, an, just a plethora of opportunities for all of our teachers to network statewide as well as on the national level through our ACTE partnerships and the specific public safety and health profession national organizations as well. And of course, I'm a resource for you. Um, any questions that you might have, if you don't know where to go, start here. You can email, call anytime, and we can put you in contact with exactly who would be the best person to help you.